to, to answer your question as far as where the inmates are, yeah, yes, I have uh, located them, what housing areas are they are in. As Kim said, there are some rooms that are completely negative. But again, that's the snapshot of what it was Thursday night when we did the test. I don't think we can rush to conclusions today and start putting people together just because of that. I think we're going to have to sit down and talk at it and look at what guidelines we're going to do as far as trying to free up some space and make some room. Uh, we're going to continue to work on and fine tune our plan for intake, what comes into the jail, how we're going to screen that, what we're going to determine, how if anybody's positive or negative. I think we've been following the guidelines all along. They've been set up for us. Um, I, I want to reiterate what Kim said too, because I, I was very interested when the health department came in Thursday night and did our testing. That was something I talked with them afterwards. I, I said, okay, you've been in there, you've seen what I have, what do you think? And, and not anybody that night would, would put their finger on anybody. They said they were symptomatic. That was an issue. 